Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how to overwrite your save method in your Django models so you can have things run automatically every time you save your model. So in the example that I'm going to create in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a model for location. And this location will have a zip code, a latitude, and a longitude. And the user is going to enter the zip code that they're interested in having a location for. And then the model will automatically calculate the latitude and longitude when it gets saved. So that's the example I'm going to build. So the first thing I need to do is create the model. So we're going to call this location and then models.model. And I'm going to have three fields for this location. One will be a zip code. So this will be an integer field. And then I'll have two additional fields for the uh, latitude and longitude. So latitude and longitude are going to be the same type of fields. So they're going to be uh, decimal fields. And for the decimal field, we need to have a max digits. We'll say nine. So I believe three before the decimal point and six after is what I'm looking for in this example. And then decimal places is going to be uh, up to six. And I also need to add blank equals true because when a user potentially saves this model in some kind of model form, they won't have the latitude and longitude. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this and I'll add it for the longitude because it's going to be the same. And now I can go ahead and save this and make migrations and migrate. And so we can see this on the dashboard. I'll go to admin and I'll register it here. So admin.site.register uh, location. And of course I have to import that location. So from dot models import location. All right, so let's go ahead and start the app and we can see what we have so far. So run server. And then I will go and log in. So Anthony and then password 11 is my password. I have locations here and I have nothing in here. So let me go ahead and add a location um, 90210. So we'll add that. We hit save. And we see I have this error. So not null constraint failed. Uh, latitude is blank along with longitude. So what I want is I want those values to be set for me, but I don't want the user to have to input their own latitude and longitude because they can mess up or they may not know how to get that information. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to override the default save method. So I just need to create a save method. It's going to take in self because it's in the class. It's going to take in the arguments, the positional arguments and the keyboard arguments, just in case anything extra is passed. And then what I'll do inside of here is I'll call super, which allows me to call the save method on the uh, class that I'm inheriting from. So in this case, I'm inheriting from models.model, which has its own save method defined. And I want to run that because that's what actually saves the data to the database for me. So super.save, and I'll pass those same arguments and keyword arguments to the save. So anything I do before this, I can modify the data that I have in my fields. So here I can do something like self.latitude equals uh, 123.456. I can do the same thing with longitude. So 123.456. So I'll save this and I'll try to save this again. So 90210. Now hit save. And now we see this location object and just uh, make this a little more clear. I'll define a stir method. Whoops. And I'll just return self dot zip code. Okay, so we can just see the zip code that we have in the admin dashboard. So 90210. And I need to convert this to an actual string. So I'll just put the stir around zip code. I don't know why it works on the list page, but not the detail page. But I'll try that again. I'll go to 90210. And we see 90210 is the zip code. And then I have latitude and longitude in there. So 123.456, it added the extra zeros because I have six decimal places. But we see that the data was added even though the user didn't 
enter that information. So this would be the same on any form that you could create in your app. It doesn't necessarily need to be the admin dashboard. So now what I want to do is I want to get the actual latitude and longitude for the zip code that is entered. And to do that, uh, I can use an API. So what I'll do is I will install requests so I can call an API. And while that installs, I'll just show you the uh, API here. So here is the open data soft API. This GUI just allows you to type in the parameters and I'll put in 90210 and I'll hit submit. And then on the right hand side, we see the coordinates. So the coordinates for this is uh, minus 118.40612 for the longitude and 34.088808 for the latitude. And if I click on this link here, it takes me to the actual uh, endpoint to call the API. And this is the data that I get and Firefox formats it for me. So I'll take this and I'll put it into my code and request is done. So what I'll do is I will perform a request. So request.get, and of course I have to import this. So import requests, because I have it installed now. So request.get, and I'll make this an F string and I'll paste in the URL that I have for this API. And what I wanna do is I want to take the zip code and make that variable. So self.zip code. So it's going to take the zip code that the user passes in and it's going to use that to call the API and then I'll get the results. So uh, we'll, we'll have uh, r.json and then I can get the data. So if I look at this in Firefox, I can tell where I should look. So I want to look in records. So records is an object and I'm getting ahead of myself. It should be uh, records first and then uh, zero. So I was looking at parameters, not records. So records, then zero. So it's going to be a list um, or an array, as you will call it in JSON. It's only going to have one thing in it, assuming you pass in a valid zip code. And inside of that, I'm looking for the fields. So I add that here. And I believe after I have the fields, I can go directly to the latitude and longitude, which I can. So we have one for longitude and we'll have one for latitude. So I'll take this, copy it, copy the same. So latitude. And now when I run this, I expect to see the actual uh, location. So let me start up my app again. and I will go back to the admin dashboard. Let me delete this one. Yes, I'm sure. And I'll create that one again. So 90210 is the uh, zip code. I'll hit save. And we see I now have those exact values in my database. So 34 and minus 118. And just to show you another one, uh, I'll add a location. Uh, let's do 89123 hit save. And now if we go to 89123, I get a different coordinate. So if I go back to the API just to see it, so 89123, I'm going to submit this. Uh, it's in Las Vegas minus 115 and 36. And we should have this uh, minus 115 for the longitude and 36 for the latitude. So this is the basic process that you have to go through when you want to have something calculated for you automatically or just add it to your fields automatically that the user wouldn't necessarily pass in or you know any process will have the data. So this is good for you know doing calculations. Uh, this is good for things like this where you get the actual location based off the information that the user put in. And there are so many other use cases, but this is a pretty simple example and I hope it was enough for you to understand. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about what I've done here, feel free to leave a comment now below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.